They remain undefeated. A look at another great week for the Lady Mustang soccer team. Plus, a new king and queen at McCracken County High School. The moment Luke and Tamlin's names were announced. I'm Mackenzie Wolchow. And I'm Bryce Mayhew. Mustang TV News starts right now. Luke McLeod and Tamron Tony are your football homecoming king and queen. Mustang TV's Ray Vogt and Maddie Hayes talked to them personally to learn more about what they meant to them. This is the moment McCracken County senior Tamron Tony found out she won football homecoming queen. Cool. You love winning homecoming court? Yeah. Yeah. What, do you feel so good about winning? Was mm -hmm. it amazing? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Tamron said she had fun at the next night's dance along with the around 1,000 students who bought tickets. Homecoming King and Queen comes from the senior homecoming court. Luke McLeod spoke about the entire experience. The whole homecoming court experience was awesome. Uh, I love making the video and I love the people who I had court with. While only the senior class nominated Tamron and Luke for the court, Queen and King is voted on by the entire student body. Stay tuned to learn more about the basketball homecoming coming up after Christmas. View Magazine named an MCHS staff member as one of the best and the best in 2023. MCHS Youth Service Coordinator Bree Sykes was recently awarded the 40 under 40. View recognizes people all around the community who have achieved great things in a certain time period. Ms. Sykes is not only the Youth Service Coordinator here at MCHS, but is also an ASAP committee member, a Murray State University member experience advisor, and many other things within the community. I mean, I, I, I'm very grateful and blessed to, to have been picked. I was shocked <laughs> um, whenever it happened. I still kind of feel that way, but um, it's definitely an honor, and, and I'm thankful and humbled that I got it. Not only did Miss Sykes win the 40 Under 40 Award, she also recently got married. With this comes a new name. I actually just got married this past weekend, so my new name is a little hard to say. So it is Pudnight. So the best way to remember it is it rhymes with good night. So good night, put night. We congratulate Miss Sykes on her award as well as her new marriage. You can find her next to the team shop in the main hallway on the first floor if you need everything from personal hygiene products to school supplies. McCracken's chess team placed first in the U.S. Chess Federal Membership Tournament last Saturday. The tournament was held at Tillman High School's Innovation Hub and placed only the top schools against each other. Chess Club is always taking new applicants. Contact Miss Dossett for more information on joining. It was really nice, especially just coming back for the first time in the year, coming out with a win. We had a really good turnout this time, which was good, and we had a lot of people show up for our school. A lot of people also showed up for the other schools, so it was really nice to come on top, especially with that extra competition this year. <laughs> Bar for Peach. Yeah. He's like a sweet peach. No, hold on, this what? Pomegranate or old bandage? Welcome back to this week's Bean Boozle segment. I'm Ken Shanks. And I'm Maddie Hayes. This week we got the bigger box this time. Uh, we got a <laughs> we got a spinner this time, so no more number rules. We can spin it or something for some beans. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'll let you go first. Oh. That was bad. Tutti fruity. Mm. You thought. What a loser. Whoop. We ain't gonna eat that again. All right, Cadence, what you're gonna do, you're gonna spin the wheel and then you're gonna pick one. Oh, pomegranate or old bandage? Uh, old bandage? All right, so we got a crossover right now. Spin the wheel and whatever one you spin, you gotta eat. Oh, does that count? I would say so. That's okay. better popcorn or rotten egg. What you got? I got the bad one. <laughs> oh my, oh my. So hold on, this what? Pomegranate or old bandage? <laughs> oh Do I got it? Yes. Just old bandage or pomegranate? <laughs> what? Oh no. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> no, <laughs> Go ahead and spin the wheel. Barf. 
<laughs> Son of a gun. Yeah. It's either barf or peach. God, yeah. Please let this be peach. You're going to edit this if I puke. If you could rate that experience, negative four. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you for watching that episode of Bean Boozled. I'm Maddie Hayes. And I'm Kanan Shanks. Make sure to scan the QR code on screen to vote for the next Teacher of the Week. This is Bean Boozled. Signing out. Many colleges are making their annual trips to visit our seniors. The colleges will meet in the cafeteria during first period on the day they visit for any seniors interested. The University of Kentucky was here today during first hour. Murray State will be here after fall break on October 11th, and the University of Louisville is supposed to be here on October 22nd. Meanwhile, drama students are rehearsing three times a week preparing for their thrilling fall play, Trap. Director Mary Bowden says the actors are starting to get off book. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see how people react because we've never done anything that's kind of thriller mystery before. I wouldn't say that it's a horror play by any means, but um, it's definitely a thriller and we've never done anything like this, so it's really exciting. They'll start doing full run throughs of the show in late October and opening night is November 9th. Fall break is coming up fast and people have plans of their own. We asked people what they were doing for their fall break. My family and I are going to Minnesota to go to a wedding and go to Mall of America and Great Wolf Lodge. We're also going to Mount Rushmore on the way back. I was planning to go to Six Flags, uh, practice my all-district music, and rest because I'm tired of school. I'm going to go to Illinois and then I'm going to come back to Kentucky. I'm going to hang out with some friends. My plan for fall break is work. I'm gonna work nonstop because I'm trying to get that money. Fall break begins on September 30th and ends on October 9th. McCracken County First District Honor Choir participated in their first concert of the year. On Tuesday, September 26th, a concert was held in the Seaplant Performing Arts Center for the First District's Honors Choir. The participants included the McCracken County High School Choir as well as seven other schools from surrounding counties. Here is First District Honors Choir member Audrey Barrett on how the concert went. I think it went really well. You know, we put a lot of work into the pieces that we did, put a lot of rehearsal time, like hours and hours. It was very tiring, but I think it ended up with a pretty good show. The next concert will be on October 17th at Lone Oak First Baptist Church. Women's golf headed to semi-state this past week. For Mustang TV Sports, I'm Kanan Shanks. Sophie Hollowell has added another accomplishment to her high school sports career. The varsity tennis player and golfer has earned her way into the golf state tournament after going five over par at semi-state. Sophie will participate in the finals, which will take place October 2nd through the 4th. Men's golf also participated in semi-state this past week. The Mustangs finished first, going 10 over par, and were led by Landon Hunt, who shot two under par and finished in second place in the tournament. Marshall County will be joining the Mustangs to represent the region next weekend. Our McCracken County Mustang varsity football team recently faced off against the Murray Tigers. We played against Murray for the first time ever last Friday, September 22nd. It was a close game with Jackson Shackelford intercepting the ball for a touchdown, as well as James Berrigan scoring a 44-yard touchdown run. Despite our best efforts, we lost the game with a final score of 35 to 38. The team's next game is over fall break away at Henderson County on Friday, October 6th, and their next home game is on Friday the 13th. Men's and women's cross country competed at Marshall on September 23rd. Our top 50 placements for McCracken are as follows. For our men, Corbin Knight finished 26th and Eli Warford finished 29th. And for our women, Anand Mendoza finished 39th and Aislinn Sullivan finished 45th. Our Lady Mustangs soccer team played in the Bruins Classic on September 23rd. They played their first game against North Harden and won 3-0, and they won their second game against Central Harden 
The wins helped the Lady Mustangs maintain their undefeated season. The Mustang men's soccer team hosted the Jeff Wilkins River Region Rumble Tournament on September 22nd and 23rd. The tournament is meant to honor the late Jeff Wilkins. He was a huge supporter of the Mustang soccer team who passed away seven years ago due to ALS. The tournament includes schools from Cape Girardeau and Eureka, Missouri, Lexington, Kentucky, Bowling Green, Kentucky, Evansville, Indiana, and Chicago, Illinois. All profits from the tournament go towards research for ALS in hopes of finding a cure. The fall season is here, which means that intramural football and powder puff are back. They will start up after fall break, so now is the time to sign up if you're interested. The games will be held at the practice fields besides the football field on Monday from 3 to 5 p.m. They are playing in a 7-on-7 seven -seven format, but your team can have up to 10 players in case someone is missing or injured. Males need to sign up for the intramural football and females need to sign up for the powder puff. Use the email sent out to students last Friday or scan the QR codes posted outside of ELCs to sign you and your team up. For more information, contact Mr. Edwards. So we're back again today with a new episode. This is episode four, and uh, we're just gonna get straight into it. What do you listen to? Uh, Guillotine by Pierre Byrne. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Where's our cameraman today? What is your name? Trad Hall. And uh, who's your celebrity crush? Terry Crews. Alright, who are we here with? Uh, Landon McReynolds. And, um, do you like McDonald's or Burger King better? Shit, sure, McDonald's. Favorite What's song? your favorite song? Uh, you Ain't Gonna Lie by Kendrick Lamar. Alright, we got the Cripple Crip here. Alright, um, who's your favorite artist? <laughs> Young Boy. And Rod Wave. And Rod Wave. That's it. Can't fight the feeling. Thanks for joining us for another weekly episode of Mustang TV News. Don't forget to catch the daily announcements every day on Instagram and right here on YouTube. And as always, everyone matters and every moment counts.